it's um it's only four degrees, but it's a beautiful day. Hello and welcome to Kangaroo English. I'm Christian and today we are going to be talking about numbers. I feel a little bit tired today and I think it's because I am still recovering from um, the fiesta that, that uh, we had in our village on the weekend. Every year, our neighbors kill some pigs uh, to make chorizo sausages, you know, the famous Spanish sausage. Um, and when they kill the pigs, they have a big fiesta with lots of wine. And lots of food. And then lots of, um, lots of alcohol at the end, lots of spirits and coffee. So today we are going to talk about numbers, but before that, I want to talk about something else. This is the world. A lot of you were asking, uh, like, where do you live? Where were you born? Um, are you a native speaker? So, so I'm going to tell you the story, okay? So, I was born here, in, in Perth, in, in Australia. Beautiful place. Um, and when I was 21, I left uh, Perth and I traveled. I moved here to, to London. And, um, and I lived in London for six years, uh, lived and worked. Um, and then after, after six years, I moved back, back to Perth. But then I got itchy feet. Itchy feet is uh, when um, your feet want to move. You need to travel, you need to, to, to move again. So um, I left uh, in 2009 and lived in a few different places, here and here. Um, and then, um, in 2010, I moved here to Galicia, in, in the north of Spain, just above Portugal. And that's where I live now, that's where I have um, my school, and that's where I make videos for you. Okay, so um, today we are going to talk about. Okay, um, today we are going to talk about numbers. Um, so we'll start with the numbers from one to twenty. Okay, and I've divided them into three groups. We have numbers one to ten, which I don't think um, I think you know the numbers one to ten. Then we have eleven and twelve. And then 13 to 19. So you'll notice here that numbers 13 and 19 all have teen after them. 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, what does this mean? Teen means 10. So 13 is 3 plus 10. 13. 14 is 4 plus 10, 14, 15, etc. Okay? But 11 and 12 are different. Why? 11 comes from the Old English Einleaf. And 12 comes from the Old English Twileaf. Um, and Lif, the part Lif, probably means after. So, we are saying one after ten, and two after ten, eleven and twelve. Um, but why are only eleven and twelve different? Because um, most cultures have no need, no reason to count above ten. Um, in fact, some languages only have numbers for one and two and a lot. And that's it. Um, so as English was developing, 
um, they only counted up to the number 12. But why 12? Um, the reason is because you can count to 12 on one hand using your thumb, like this. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You just count, you count the lines, you count the lines in your hand and you can count to 12. Even today in English, um, 12 is an important number. Um, we even have a special word in English for 12, dozen. And even today, we still sell eggs in dozens, in packs of 12. Look. And then of course we have 20, 30, 40, etc. Um, but what about big numbers? Let's look at some big numbers. So here we have a big number, okay? We have millions, hundreds of thousands, and hundreds. So in English, what we do is we tell you the unit after the number. For example, one million, two hundred thousand, 768. Now, there is a little difference between British English and American English. In British English, we insert an AND with the numbers that are hundreds here. Okay? So, 1,200,000 700 and 68. But this is um, an even number. If it was not even, we would put another and. One million, two hundred and ten thousand, seven hundred and sixty-eight. So, what about numbers that have decimals? So, you will notice in English we use a comma to separate the different units. But, if we have a decimal, we use a point. And what's really interesting is that after the decimal point, after the decimal point, we say each number individually. So, 1000 seven hundred and sixty eight point seven two six so what about if you have a price a currency in this case we say the name of the currency after the units of tens or hundreds okay so in this case we would say two euros fifty and here we don't say and 50 or with 50, just 2 euros 50. And here we would say the, the currency here with the units of um, hundreds, okay? So 1,762,510 euros and 10 cents. <laughs> So, one other strange thing we have in English is that when you are saying dates, dates or of the year, then you must use ordinal numbers, not cardinal numbers, okay? So, for example, today um, is the 1st of December, or the 2nd of December, or the 3rd of December. And you can see that the first, the second, and the third are irregular. But for and on, it's all the same. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, one hundredth, one millionth. <laughs> okay, so what about years? Um, we have three categories, okay? So all of the years until 1999 are in two parts. Look, 1999, 1546, 1213, okay? 
the years between 2000 and 2009, we say the whole year, 2001, 2002, 2003. But then, after 2009, we say in two parts again, 2010, 2011, 2016. Um, I think that's it. Um, I don't think that I've forgotten any other types of numbers. Um, please leave a comment um, if, if I've forgotten something, okay? So, hopefully now you know everything you need to know about numbers in English. Um, if you would like to see any more videos about the English language, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in class.